playoff in the Cotton Rec League goes down. Let's get it. And we got Quentin getting ready to make his way to this P5 side or just probably to the 6 side to watch anybody going to this B side. You got different surrenders. They're taking their time, making their way to this A side. Don John does get the first blood on the call of Pooley. Shuggy, Shuggy gets the, the trade on the Don John and now it's still a 3-3 with a minute and five on the clock cash. Still enough time left to work this bomb plant. They're going to be leading this A site. Quentin, though, gives a kill field, which really kind of makes this bomb plant hesitant to go down because you don't have someone overlooking you on the plant. You're trying to get your teammate and Juge to wrap back and maybe get eyes on. But uh, again, without a pick, though it's a 2v2, you don't feel comfortable getting this bomb down without at least finding information on where another player could be playing. Shuggy. Looking for the creep around blues. May have slipped through back church now setting candles and timing just going back and forth. Maybe with this wrap up top church, they could get a kill. It's going to be a 1v1 after this kill, possibly. And there it does come in out of blues. So a 1v1, you know this player is playing around B. What do you do with that information? Yeah, you know, blues just take, just goes back to A, get the bomb plant, and he just got to be ready for this 1v1 retake. Now the call out has been made to Quentin. So Quentin's got to make his way back. He's probably going to go through this church area. He's going through the bottom church. Going to make his way. Hopefully, you know, looking back here, make it see if he can catch him anyway in this park side. You know, he's got, he's, he's guessing he's got to be somewhere over here on this park side. Blues is just laying down close, you know, by the bomb site. 23 seconds. Quentin has to try to find it. You got to minus seven seconds from that because you got to get it defused. And Quentin does get the kill. On to Blues with enough time to get it defused and just taking his time going through P1 Park was just a great play for the Sasky Shotgunner. It was great, and that's three in the round for Quentin. So a near ace there for round number one, a great round for Sasky to take here in this map to search and destroy. On defense, they hold strong, though it gets a little dicey there towards the end. They find a way to stand tall and really get a good round on the board. So... On their offensive go, we'll see if they can find success, right? You know, Denver was able to get the bomb down, get it down to a 1v1 situation. Can you, well, take a simpler route to get an offensive round win and go up 2-0? We'll have to find out here. But once again, quick play towards this A-site. Tax coming out, and we we'll should see a first blood here soon. Yep, here we go. We didn't see that first blood, but we, get, we do see Shasky Shotgunner still just back in this little spawn area, just not being too aggressive to push up. They're just trying to get the, you know, that open and pick the late can. You got player six. Shuggy did get behind Blues. Did get the open and first blood on him. TV Panther did find Shuggy to make it a 3v3. But the bomb is still now probably in this top fire area. Probably going to make his way towards this B site. You got a uh, graph. We got graph the power. Did just see some shots on the Panther. So let's see if Panther is going to win this battle or is he going to go down for his team. This bomb is looking like it's stuck in top fire. And Pooley takes down Juge. Make it a 3v2. Power takes down Panther to make it a 3v1. Now it's Don John all by himself in this 1v2. I mean, not going to go his way as he runs out of top radio. Sasky going to get two straight on the board, an offense and a defense alike. And Denver now going to have to call back from at least an 0-2 deficit. But if anything else, you know, whatever Sasky can put on top of this, playing with good control around the maps. He's just been able to work picks, get themselves in favorable life advantages, and then play smart from there. It's been really, you know, group-oriented S&D. It's been sound. And again, Sasuke, they're being rewarded for correct Call of Duty. Yeah, man, they're up 2-0 in this search and destroy. See, they, you know, Denver's, they got to stop the bleeding right here. They got to win this round. You got Don John. See if he can find his kill on the power. He does get the first blood onto power. That was big, but you got player seven pulley pushing up through mid, getting that kill on the blues to tie it back up to 3v3. Panther did pick up the bomb. Don John with a nice kill on the pulley to make it a 3v2. This, you know, you got the two players in, in Chasky Shotgunners in this little tie. In, both of them look like they're in, you know, in this uh, church area. So, you know, they are watching, you know, kind of close to both bomb sites to make a, you know, play, you know, regardless of whatever indication they get wherever the bomb goes down. Playing connected. Like you said, what was playing in church now? A bit more of a spread and Shugi going to find a kill with the AR from that catwalk area. Now putting it in a 2v2, but again, player four might be closer than they realize. Juju's going to find one. Dip and reach out for the second. Not going to find anything there, but you have an idea of where this player could have dipped off to. You got to try and get timing for a kill. And again, Juju's going to get eyes again, but not enough for a kill. You're hoping your teammate maybe can clean up there. If anything, trying to bleed this clock and not let the fuse come in. 
All right, man. Shiggy just playing his life. 18 seconds left. He's got to find these two kills. He does find one, and then he does have enough time to find the second kill. Oh, Jude just had a great trigger discipline moment right there with not firing his gun. Now there's not enough time for the bond to plant. So now the kill finally does come in for the Denver Surrenders to, to finally get a round on the board. And that was big for the Denver Surrenders right there because they did not want to go down. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, going down 3 just, uh, again, it's so devastating, especially in playoffs, right? It just feels like there's more of an edge to it. It feels like there's more of a sense of urgency, right, to claw back from a deficit. But you, you, as much as you want to play with urgency, you have to play with composure, and you still want to play fundamental and sound search and destroy. Denver respond back with a big win there to, again, I said it in the last series, and I'll say it here, you know, stay, staying within striking distance. And I think in playoffs, that's so important. You look at traditional sports, like a basketball, right? It's a game of runs. A team's going to get a couple rounds in a row. How do you respond after going down a couple of rounds? Well, Denver seemed to be doing just fine as Juju's able to find one before falling. Gets all the information to the team that this is the B push out of Sasuke. Yeah, man, that was a great opening first kill by Juju. Let's see if he gets the second kill. Don John. No, Don John gets taken out, but Blues does take out Cooley. Hey, Pooley, who is there? Blues finally gets the way with his life. Just running around, just making sure he doesn't get shot in the back as he's being chased by the Sasuke shotgun player. Shuggy now just know that Lewis finally did get away with his life. So he's probably just going to go back to this B site and try to plant. There they go. They head up. Oh, Blues wins that battle. Now it's Quentin. Last one alive. 40 seconds. Bomb is down by B. I think Blues and Panther know that's why they're babysitting the bomb. And that's going to be a tough task for Quentin right here. Cash. Definitely. You're trying to get information. And you know these players are probably going to be playing grouped up. Know the bomb's down for sure because of how quickly that kill came in after the bomb was scooped. So, like you said, a tall task for Quentin. Not a lot of time to work with either. You're trying to clear out as much as you can, but I think the laying down on the stairs is going to be just enough for the kill. There it is. Denver surrender respond with two of their own in quick fashion. Yeah, we're starting to see Blues. We're starting to see Blues start to turn up a little bit as he's currently, I think he's streaking right now, but he's 4-3 and three right now. You know, picking it up from the first two rounds where I think he was just, you know, just getting shut down. But he's picking it up now. So they're tied up two to two Denver surrenders. Yeah, Blues on a three streak. So so now this is the big round right here for Saskia. They got to stop yeah. this momentum. But Denver, they can just start, you know, start all the momentum in their side. They really can. It, it feels eerily similar to what we saw between, um, you know, Atlanta and Chicago in a sense, where it's like, okay, Denver's ripped off three straight rounds. Do you have it in you to dig deep and, uh, you know, stop this ball that's rolling for the side of Denver's surrender? Can you find a way to get first bloods and play your life? Well, our first blood question asked and answered. It goes the way of Denver Sasky now playing off the back foot defensively. Take one more off the board with this bomb going down. Looking like it's going to be a surrender offensive win. Yeah, and then the bomb is finally down. Quentin finally just, I mean, Quentin does take down Jules. Jules did, was on a two streak four, he got taken down. But you got Quentin and Power and Graf the Power, the last two alive for Shasky. They are in this church building area trying to get away. Quentin does find Don John. Panther does see uh, the Power. I think they're both grouped up trying to go for this, this bait and switch trade, but no, they just uh, both play away. Panther backs up to watch over the bomb, which is a good play by Panther to watch over the bomb. Blues is just laying there prone by the bomb. Oh, Panther takes down power. Blues gets taken down. I mean, Blues gets taken down. The chase is on. Can't Panther win that? You know, he cannot, but the time is out, and that is a round win by the Denver Surrenders. Another great one. Again, just awareness, right? In-game awareness to, to play clock and say, hey, if you want this killer, you have to chase me for it, and oh, would you look at that? You're not going to have enough time to get back to the bomb. Wonderful job for Denver. Now taking three straight rounds. Um, it, it's so weird how cookie cutter some of these games can play, right? It feels like when you get in playoffs, it seems like one team can really get rolling here in that mid search and destroy, especially about number two. But Denver, either way, really getting this one cooking. And it's kind of been behind the back of Juge. You know, Blue's been making good plays as far as having two plants on the board going four and four. Um, but it's not like the slangs have been something super crazy where it's like, wow, you know, you already have a couple players with double digit kills. No, it's it's been well balanced. It's who's playing well after the first bloods and playing around the objective. Yeah, Panther gets that first blood. Don John follows him with the second. Now it's four to two for the Denver Surrender. Panther gets another one. Don John finished it up and Denver Surrender are rolling now and they start to destroy cash. Truly feels like momentum train that uh, it might have left the station at this point. 
Don John feeling himself their top church. They have the lanes locked down that they need. They're really heads up and aware of, okay, what routes are being taken? What do we need to do to, you know, ensure we get this next sequence of kills? I mean, opening up with first bloods and getting the first couple of kills definitely makes it easier to get yourself in a 4v2 in the first 30 seconds of the round, but they're just doing everything correct here in the search and destroy. They let the couple rounds go, and then they made the adjustments immediately to say, you know what, we need to respond, and they've done so in a big way by taking four straight rounds. Now just needing two more to, I believe, go two up in the series. Correct me if I'm wrong though goon no you're right they go up 2-0 if they win they're searching to destroy the uh different surrenders they are taking their time you see what well, none of the players have gotten past the the 25 you know yard line panther starts off with that first but on the pulley but the call out has been made he is on platinum quentin is there with the pre-aim can panther win that no quentin takes him down and make a 3v3 but there goes blues with the bad time and he gets taken down by grab the power don john does get the kill on to Quinn. Now, Graf, the power is the last alive as Juice takes down Shiggy, but there is power. He knows he's over here in this building. He probably still knows he's down, so he's going for the child right now. See if you can see him on these stairs. It's going to be a big 1v1 right here, and Juice wins that battle as Denver surrender are, are now at match point. <laughs> They are at match point. It's crazy. It's been five straight rounds. And again, Juge 8 and 4 now double positive, making great reads there at P5 to get that last kill. And wow, Denver Surrender have flipped the switch, it seems like, in this map number two. Now just one round away. But we've seen a situation where a team's been up. We, it was a 5 3 curse last series, wasn't it? Where they were up 5 3 and ended up losing it. Hopefully, Denver can close this one out here and not get the 5 2 curse. But Offensively, Sasky have a lot to work through and, 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 you know, a lot to make happen to not only win this round, but get themselves just back on the board in general. A very slow play, nothing decisive toward the bomb site, but favoring P5, trying to maybe get information through well on players crossing mid-map, getting aggressive. Quentin really been the OBJ route man, the one getting things done for the team objectively. And it's just a matter of, okay, can I get enough clearance? Can I get enough information to maybe make a play towards a site? But it's stagnant. Though Denver got aggressive through mid-map, it has slowed down tremendously here. Yeah, I like the plays by Chasky just to slow it down. Trying to see they get Denver being aggressive, but Denver got into their spots, and they are planted, and now they're not moving at all. Juge is the only one over here because the Nate, the, the flashbang did come over from the top P5, so they may be trying to make their way over to this B side, as we can see, Shiggy did get the first blood onto Real Blues. Juice gets one. Did Juice get two? Juice did get the second kill. Now it's three to two in the favor of the Denver Surrender. Clock is not on the side of the Shasky Shotgunners. They got 18 seconds to plant this bomb. Shiggy does get the kill on the Don John and make it a 2v2 bomb. Oh, I think the bomb did not go down. That was a great play by Panther. Panther with the two piece to finish it off in Denver Surrenders. Win six to two, and now are up two to two to zero in this series. I mean, to take six straight rounds, no matter what the score is, and I think, I mean, you can look at different moments right, right, right now, and then they can just start building momentum onto that. And here we go. They are on the defensive side, so it's going to start with the defense. Denver surrenders are going to go with this classic play through bottom church and then make their way to the B site and Quentin does get in a great place to get the first kill. Real Blues takes out Graf. Kenny takes out Quentin. He does get Quentin. Three kills go in the favor of the Denver Surrender. Blues is probably just going to sit in the back, play the spawns as his teammates did not make it to that B site. But Juge, he was almost there before he finally got taken down. But Blues is there now to start taking this B site as they got Don John on the A site. Able to stop the clock is what's most important with just a handful of seconds ticking off. So, yeah, a great opening break for the side of Denver once again here on Tuscan. And trying to split the resources off that opening break with players staying alive. At the end of the day, the contest is in. You're just trying to find these kills to get these players off the site and look to capture. Three for one in the feed makes that much easier. Make that all four down. Now the stack coming in. Over two minutes going to be on the clock. You're up three lives. Offensively, you can't be sitting much better as you look to make this B transition. Yeah, you got all the Sasuke shots going just back past, not even past their 25-yard line in this control. And you got to want to push up a little bit. Blues does get a kill on the Shiggy. Panther gets traded, gets killed by Quinn. There's Blues with a big battle in the back on Pooley. Two take down Quinn. That is two down, but Shiggy is there to take 
down blues juice is on this b site last player there is player a oh graph what a nice two piece looking for three but panther takes him out 19 to 16 a minute and 35 on the clock and denver surrender are looking really good and looking like they can just keep pushing up this map they can take this b site they have complete church control Couple players in the back, they'll have to cut down and maybe Pooley trying to get Mixie Top Church. We'll see if they chop that gunfight and they do and they take it. Player in the back, in Graph, holding strong, playing tank as well. So you hold off this push that was coming through Church for the time being. You're only down two lives. You're not sitting in a bad position defensively, but that clock, right? You want to try to eat up, if not more lives, more clock for sure, because you get a couple more four downs. I mean, they maybe have three or four full team pushes at this if you don't keep chipping away at players. So push coming in from Plat Don. John able to lease back the player down radio stairs. And now this push is coming on. You got to find these kills and clear them out here to try to give yourself another chance. And they just got one. That's a big, big kill by Rip Blues right there to get down. And now they got to just watch out for Pooley. Pooley's making the play through radio. He's going to jump on and try to find his player on the time, but he licked the wrong way. He got taken out, but Graf takes out Jules. 10 to 9 is the life. Now it's 9 to 9 because Graf is, is playing some de defense right now. Now they're all pushed up past the little B site. So they're going to be waiting for any player to come through Plat. Pooley takes down Don John. The play is coming through P1 and through. Man, can they get can the shotgun chassis shotguns get the kill that they need to stop these damn defenders? When they got 25 seconds left to hold off these players, they're all making their way through church, all four through church. But there's two down, two players back to their spawn. 17 seconds left. It's all up to Don John and Real Blues. Now Blues, last one up. He gets taken down, and that could be the round right there for the for the Shasky shotgunners. The round. Done and dusted defensively. You make the whole juke still have something to say about it. But again, Pooley finds the kill. So it was a lot of ditch effort. But again, Sasky showing that they can hold on, that they can make a stand. And whoa, they found form. And their defensive structure paid off for them. And again, they were able to hold off, take a round win. And you'll take what you can get. You needed to show an ability to adapt, an ability to um, make a change on Tuscan to try to slow down this Denver squad. You do that. Now you go to offense where you're going to try to answer big yourself. And again, try to get, you know, at least a couple ticks, if not the whole capture of B. But it's got to be quick because you know how, how how quickly this Denver Surrender squad can turn things around and flip momentum on ahead. Yeah, and they are going for this A side, trying to just get A out of the way as they're doing their work. Their gems stack the A side. John, John, <laughs> yeah, where the, the gems, man? <laughs> just get the first blood. Blue Blues looking to get the trade, but he gets instantly taken out. They got two t two segments on this A side, looking to get this third segment. Shiggy does. Oh, he's looking for the kill, but he did not get the kill. There's three kills that did just go in the favor for Denver Surrender. They stopped that third segment of being progressed. And, you know, if you're a different surrender, that was a great job of stopping that A. The pressure is coming at B. It's all up to Blues. Can he get the kills? Oh, he gets one, but he cannot get the third kill as the third player comes out. Quinn now he's by himself on this B side. His teammates are, are running there with him. They may get the word to Jim Stack on this B side if his teams can get up, but Blues and Juice are there to shut that down. There is Pooley for a kill. Panther is there with the pistol, but you can't bring a pistol to an MP40 fight as as uh, Pooley wins that battle, but Jules says, my pistol does win these fights, and that's the clearance of the B side for the difference around. Clear B. Straight back to A we go, and with just needing a tick left, they should be able to get this in with a couple players stacking at this point, Quentin zoning ahead and finding these kills, but Don John might cut down a couple more resources, if not stop this progress. Shogi gonna shut that down, say no thank you, we'll take just about two minutes left on the clock to work this push, and down lives, so that's definitely gonna be something to work, but with this hot momentum and this high octane and pace that they're playing at, they could very much catch Denver off guard here, and like you said, word to Jim's gonna stack in and close this round out, go up 2-0. Yeah, 18, 13, Denver Surrenders are leading by five lives in this. They do got player eight draft for the power who's in the back trying to get Panther off this tank because if he can get this tank control, that will be big for his team. The nade does back him off. There is a pinch that is being worked by player four, Juice. Juice is still coming out with the pistol, but uh, not enough firepower as Quentin takes him down. They are spawning up on this back tank. 
You got Quinn. He's the only one pushed up past the 50 yard line, waiting for his teammates to push up. They're going to try, try to go through flat and try to make this play through ramp. As you got Shiggy just holding down ramp. Now it's just a stalemate, a minute and two on the clock. Juice does find a kill on the Quinn to make it 15 to nine in lives. And these, these players are trying down. The battles are starting to go down at this B site. Last player up is Pooley. He finds one on the Panther. And he just got to try to break the spawn trap, try to get these four kills back because his team is pushing up through the uh, B5. It's one of those situations where, again, you need your teammates to win these fights because, yeah, Pooley, you're back there. But if your teammates don't win the fights on the front side, this play is all for naught. You're just sitting in the back, biding time while your teammates are falling around you. It's 10 to 5 in the lives. Pooley has to make a play here to get back involved. Everyone's stacked up in alley and radio, so Pooley has to get involved in this play to start to turn these heads. Does just that. Starts to get bodies on the point. Are there enough lives left for them to be able to do this? I'm not sure at this point, especially with the clock dipping down to 20 seconds. Denver may have done just enough to hold on here as well. Yeah, man. One guy left. That Shiggy making his way through this P5 building. And, you know, I think they're probably going to have their players watching everywhere. Blues just sees them as soon as he runs through the building. And their surrender are up to, I mean, are, are, are to tie the series up 1-1. And that was just a big defense by Denver. A really big one for them. And they're going to get another chance on offense where they never got a clean look at B in a sense. Um, but they still are up in ticks. They were able to find at least one over on the B site their last go round. You know they want to improve on that, this offensive try. And, you know, a couple of slow performances from your ARs and like and, and Don John, right? You want to see them step up and maybe go to bat a bit more with the sides of Sasuke because if they get rolling, well, the squad's going to be in good shape for this offense. How's this opening break go? What do you like to focus? And at least for the side of the surrender off this break, it's mid-map control. They want to try to get these spawns getting crazy. Yeah, they just, you know, the old classic, they going for the, you know, the play. I, you know, that's a classic play for me because I play with these guys in big play. But, you know, the, 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 the play through church is always the play in the hit B. But it did not work out that time as Shasky Shotgunner take them down. You know, four of them go down. Panther does get a kill. They do got two players on this A site. Clock is stopped at a minute and three. One segment down on this A site. Blues backed up, played his life, but Shiggy is there. Three kills go in the favor for Sasky Shotgunners as they stop that second progression. But Drew just made his way over to that B site. I think B is going to be, uh, Drew is going to be that player. Just always going to be annoying. Just, just going the opposite way of his team just to, you know, draw attention, you know, towards him. Definitely, and that's a player that you need, right? Someone that can hit routes, turn heads, just force the defense off spawn to hesitate and have to think about where they want to go off the respawn buck. And again, I think the work that Juj has done, not only in this control, but in this round specifically, has got them, you know, ease on getting this A site. Now they have some church control where they want to look to push through as they have been favoring this whole time. But the Sasuke defense, they're lined up and ready for it. Don John getting a couple coming out of church, Juj as well. And now this push is on. You're flying. It's two for one in the feed. Make that three. You want to get these kills. You want to get this stack on. And you want to try to get an offensive round on the board. Yeah, man, 20 to 21 in lives. One life favor for Shasky as they're defending off these different surrenders. Doing a good job. Don John does find the kill from Top Radio to get on the point. Stop this clock. Now the tension is on from Shasky. Shot going to try to get this point, but Don John is making the reads as he gets the kill. He's got to look for pair seven now. Shiggy coming down the middle, but Quinn takes him down. Shiggy gets the real blues. That was a big hold by Shasky to stop that. Stop that uh that, that offense by the Denver surrenders because it was looking scary for a minute. But now there's a minute and ten on the clock. Denver has plenty of time, only down by three lives. Try to get to this B side, try to get some kills in their favor. Juice is just gonna be, you know, that you know, that little aggressive rally player that you know Denver needs as they try to make their way towards this A site. I think it was a great kill radio. Juju able to find another, like you said, playing rowdy, playing scrappy, just always on the move. Juju doesn't sit still for very long anytime we're on that POV. But Sasuke, again, a, a testament to them. They're still holding on, and that's because Graf sits so tall in the back that they don't get a free push through church. And their spawns are going to be arches, so they have a quick route right back to the point. There hasn't been a clean four down and four Denver to be able to capitalize off of. This might be their cleanest look at B yet given there's someone on the point to stop the clock, but Quentin, it's been Quentin, it's been Shuggy, it's really been all four players on these defensive tries doing what they have to to get this squad a hold in the round, and man, are they going at it. 
Yeah, looking like they're trying to attack this point. The Dipper Surrender, six to nine, five to nine now. As the kills are just going in the favor for the Shatsky Shotgunners. This could be the last push as a team for the Dipper Surrenders to make their way to this B site. So Don John, he gets taken down, so he gets one more attempt, and that is it. No more respawns are left for the Dipper Surrenders. These uh, Shatsky Shotgunners are being aggressive. Juice takes down real blues. There goes Quinn with a kill. Can he get this third kill with the pistol? No, oh, they, <laughs> that was a, a crazy sequence. But Panther wins that. Time runs out. Chasky Shotgunners win this defense around. And, you know, defense is taking the cake. But Denver Surrenders did get, I think, like, I think they got two segments on that, that, that B site. They have two total if it goes to around number five. So, uh, again, you've got to hold here. If you are on the side of Denver, you are up in tick progression, so that is something you're keeping in the back of your mind, right? It is important to play this defense aggressive in a sense um, to where you're not letting them get a free B look off the rip, but you definitely want to make sure you don't give up big plays for them to be able to get tick progression. And, well, close it out here because if they do win this offense, it is over. You don't get a chance for round five, but you definitely want to give yourself the opportunity to have defense on the fifth and final round. Jude's going to find two before falling teammates there to clean up the rest, and this would be push. Shut down for the time being. Yeah, shut down. Now it's just grab here, but he gets taken down by Blue. So now it's all four down. They got to regroup, try to make their way to this A site. You got uh, Don John on that U heady, making a play. Blue's trying to be aggressive, but he gets taken down. John John is still here on this heady, and he is getting kill after kill. He's currently on a three streak, looking for four. I know he's seen the shoulder. He's popped out a little bit. Look at that kill. Where there was a play at the B side, but Blue's instantly shut that down. John John currently on a five streak on this uh, U side heady, and it is working like it has just been absolutely dominant for him. As he's just gonna run, he only got 16 bullets left where he finally gets taken down. The stack is on at A for Shasky Shotgunners. Time is stopped at 32 seconds, 25 19 in lives. Shasky Shotgunners are really fine on the back foot here, Cash. And they really are. You're gonna have less than a minute and a half to get the rest of this because. Denver are pouring pressure on this A site. They're not giving it for free, and they trust that they could wrap back to B if need be. That's where the push is coming from, player one, and Don John recognizes that. He's going to pinch through Platt and try to kill this player off, take care of everyone pushing this. A 1v1 going down here, and again, time's ticking. You don't have control of this A site. You have to make a big play to not only stop the clock, but try to get one of these sites secured. You need it in order to give yourself a chance to win this round. And Denver, they're holding on, constantly being aggressive towards the A site, and it has costed Sasky dearly. Down six lives, even if they do get this A point. Yeah, they probably, they, they, the pressure was on. Sasky was just sending bodies at that B site just to relieve that pressure at A. But now they got to make their way to B with 12 lives left, a, le a minute and 10 on the clock to try to make it to this B site. They're going to try to go through the back, try to go through P1. They got to go through Blues. They take down blues so they got the back i don't know if they know they have this control but they're going through church now they're getting the kill shasky shotguns that they need as they're making their way to, to this b site as they're all well pushed up blues just came out of spawn panther out of spawns get one and you know the play could have been taking too long but shuggy and and quinn just get two of their own 13 to 9 in lives they got to get closer and closer to this b site finally get player five Quinn on to this beast that he finally gets taken before he gets taken down. 11 to 8, 30 seconds to go on this clock. Can Chasky get to this beast site? That's a question we are going to find out here in a few moments. At this point for Denver, you can hold pre aims, you can finish strong, stay focused, and know that you should have a defense here. For round number five, you've done the hard job. They just have four lives left, so as long as you don't give up, again, a, a big play to give them an opening, you should be good to call this one a round five defense and what a uh, script flip that would be for Sasky. You have the advantage the entire time in this control. You haven't found a way to, you know, get any kind of semblance of leads in the series. Now Denver could very much punish you for not having a good offensive response to secure and to win the control. You give them a chance on defense and, well, you've got a big ask ahead of you for round number five, given you're on offense. 
Yeah, Denver gets the one tick advantage, so they are going to be on this defensive side. So this is going to be a big task for the Sasky Shotgunners. Do they try to go for that B side again? If they do, they got to make sure they take down Jews and, and not and not go down two down. But no, they're like they're just going to go for this A side, get the quick stack on to A, get A out the way, and then try to make their way to B. I like the play cash. I do as well. You just got to get more time on the clock. That's all you want to do. But with Blues flying through your spawn and pinching on the site, again, it just seems similar of what we said last go around. It's just going to be that much harder for them to get it. Now you have to rework out of spawn. And though Tuscan doesn't have as punishing of spawn traps as maybe some of the other control maps, it can still be hard, as we saw, for Sasuke to work out of spawn and get progress on a point. They're split their resources, trying to get control of mid-map and get clean A clearance. But this should be... Site control for A and perhaps the tick, unless Panther is able to make a big play, that's not going to be the case. This should be A. This should be over two minutes on the clock and about as good as the position you'd want to be in here if you are the shotgunners. Yeah, it's going to start up with Pooley right now as he made to the back, but just ran right by Panther. So he gets taken down, but you guys still got two Tasky shotgunners right here in this back church. Going to wait for one of the other teammates to push up. Look like they're going to, you know, Play as a team. Here comes the streaks that's getting invested by Shiggy. The call out is being made where all the players are now. So now the rush is on for these Shazzy Shotgun. Three kills to go in their favor. Don John, he's the last one up. If he gets taken down, you can see the big stack happening. But he, oh, he almost got one, but he finally gets taken down. Well, I think that was enough time to let his teammates stack to get back uh, out of spawns and make it back to that B site. 19 and 18 is the life counter. It's, it, one minute and 25 is left. Chasky shotgunners are going to try to get to this B site. You still have enough lives and you still have enough time. It's not time to panic. But yeah, you go back to the drawing board. You get back to where you need to be for your setup and try to make another break again. You force the defense to have to make big holds and not give up big breaks. Right now, Platt is locked down by Blues on a three streak. The, church, the push coming through church is Graf. Wins another big gunfight, and you're trying to also press through radio again. Give these Denver Swindle players a little more than they can handle by pushing out these lanes. You find at least one kill. Well, I would have thought, but again, if Juju's on the map, he's a problem. And what would have been one, maybe two kills lining up for you to get on the point, you don't quite get any of them. Pooley's the only one left and gets cut down. Now it's feeling like desperation. You're off spawn with 40 seconds left. You've got maybe two more clean looks at this. That's if you don't get cut down mid-map. Yeah, man, it blows on a five streak right now. Looking for two more so he can really end this Sasuke shotgunner team. And can he get this one? No, he cannot. Grab take him out. It's all going to be up to Panther now. Carl Pooley is on the time. He did jump off now to try to go to the back, but that it did, play did not work for him. It's all up to Shiggy as he's the only one here for his team. 13 seconds left to try to stop the time. Panther laying down by the Monument statue. He gets that kill. This could be it. It's all up to Quentin now and player five. Player five, that is Quentin. He's the only one who could get close enough to this time. And I don't think he's going to make He did jump on. 0.1 seconds left. Two players that got there. Quentin is still there by himself, but he finally gets taken down. Denver surrender. Win Ooh. this control. Three to two and win the series. Three to zero cash. Hey, we said in the last series, don't chow Atlanta dazed on Gava 2. Well, I'm